watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Carr sitting down now with Edward Sue. He's the vice president of product marketing at Mesosphere, the premier platform for building data rich applications. So tell me, what exactly does Mesosphere do? We provide a software platform that allows organizations to automate the operations of some of the most complex cloud native technologies people are dealing with today. Uh, so databases, ingestion engines, and there's a lot of complicated technology to be able to power a lot of these connected services that we're used to. You know, think about Uber, think about Airbnb and all these other things. There's a lot of back-end infrastructure that has to happen and we automate all that for you. Why wouldn't a company have this kind of software in-house? The challenge for many companies is that a lot of these technologies are complex and it's hard to develop expertise for all these different types of software. So if you think about the, about the old days where people would just use one Oracle database, for example, today they're using Kafka for ingestion, Spark for analytics, Cassandra for persistence. A lot of different technologies. So developing the skills and doing all that in-house is actually pretty complex. So we provide the software to automate all of that for you. Let's talk about edge computing. Why does that make all the difference? Because in a nutshell, um, if you want to be responsive to customers, and let's say you're building a connected car, um, and you want to do intelligence on, on how the car drives itself, for example, you can't wait for the cloud to go tell you, I'm seeing this object, let me ask the cloud whether I should stop for this object or not. You need to do a lot of compute locally. And so what this means is you have to build global services where the data might stay local to a cruise ship, to a car, or to some other local infrastructure. Uh, and, and this is the, the, the key problem for many companies because uh, to be able to be responsive to customers, you have to build services that aren't always relying on data that's sitting in a cloud somewhere. Why did Mesosphere come up with the DCOS technology? So the technology was actually born in the UC Berkeley AMP Lab. Uh, ben Hyman was our co-founder, uh, co-created the project. Uh, and it was trying to find, if you were to figure out a way to build uh, the, the systems they use in uh, the backend infrastructures of Google and Facebook, which are proprietary, what might that look like, you know, a general purpose tool? And that became Apache Mesos. And that became uh, mainstream, if you, if you will, when they started using it at Twitter. At Twitter, they had this problem that they called the Justin Bieber problem, where Justin Bieber, because of the millions of followers he had, would literally crash Twitter. And that's what led to the fail whale. And um, what they realized is, is by using something like Apache Mesos to, to kind of re-architect the application and automate everything, that, that, that um, the user experience and the operating experience would be seamless. Uh, and so uh, you can think of the new way of operating entire clouds as automating it to the point where you're running like a single computer. So that's why we call it the data center operating system because just like you never have to upgrade or maintain the apps on your iPad, you shouldn't have to do that for you know, complex distributed systems that you're running in the cloud. So does Twitter still have the Justin Bieber problem? I don't think so, because I think if they did, they probably wouldn't be around today, right? Or they'll call <laughs> you guys. All right, thanks so much, Edward. Thank you.